Hello, I'm your host Vaughan Highfield and welcome to this week's customer engagement news. In this week's show we find out that Americans and the internet don't really like advertisers. We take a look at an infographic on how negative word of mouth can actually be positive and find out the seven marketing terms that no company should ever use. And as always we've also got two delectable downloads for you to digest. It may sound obvious but internet advertising, especially banner advertising, is deemed as annoying by many. But thanks to a recent survey by Pew, the scale of dislike has finally been realised. According to the report, 28% of Americans rank advertisers as the worst people on the internet, second only to hackers. They actively delete cookies, wipe history and employ ad blocking software to avoid sharing information. What's worse is that these people are in the 18 to 29 demographic, the very people advertisers are aiming to reach. The report also revealed that an entire fifth of the world's internet users make use of ad blocking software. You can see Pew's report and read our solutions to this problem by clicking the link on screen. Negative word of mouth has always been seen as a very bad thing to have roaming about in the wild. But this infographic from Naughty One shows you the positive power of negative word of mouth. The infographic takes you the five stages needed to turn around negative commentary. Test, treat, support, respond, and go public. You can take a closer look at the infographic and read a guest post by Loyalty One by clicking the link on screen. Finally, rounding up the show this week are the seven marketing terms that no company should ever use. Marketing is largely full of buzzwords and nonsense terms used to dazzle prospective customers, but it's a practice that's become tiresome and largely irrelevant as people see through these meaningless words. So, we've compiled a list of the seven most annoying marketing words and terms and broken them down into reasons for why they should never be used. To see the full list and to pass comment and judgment, click the link on screen. And now, on to this week's downloads. First up, we take a look onto the benefits that really matter to loyalty card holders, and we've also got a white paper from Tibco Loyalty Lab on the eight essential steps for championing your investment in loyalty marketing. Don't forget, you can also get the latest news and features in our daily newsletter. We hope you enjoyed this week's customer engagement news, and we'll see you again next week.